Okay, you guys will like this. This is fun. So I'm using an old school bird dog studio right now to capture my Apple TV, right? Um, and over here, we have our bird dog Cloud Connect application. So we'll log into this. And here are those groups that we had from our, uh, our connection from earlier. So while this app is on Apple TV, very similar functionality to the iOS applications and the Samsung TV and all that stuff. So using my um, Apple remote, I'm able to scroll around, go to any of my groups. Um, let's pop over to that bird dog, Jake. Go ahead and type in that password. Go ahead and log in. And we have those sources that I have streaming. And if I want to pop over to that PF120. Um, oh, and where we could add those custom cards is where this one would pop up. So instead of the, the yellow uh, video, it will it would be whatever the custom you wanted to send over. Then we'll go ahead and select that source. And... Let's see if we should have connection. Well, that one disappeared. So let's try this Adobe Premiere. Because I have that one streaming right now. There we go. Awesome. So another Bird Dog Cloud application inside a Bird Dog Cloud application, right? Bird Dog Cloudception. Right. Um, on the screen now, um, I'll pop on over to my full screen of um, Adobe Premiere. So on the left panel over here, let me make this bigger for you guys to, to check this out. So let's talk about this workflow real quick, because this is wonderful. Um, so inside Adobe Premiere, we now have the ability to have uh, a workflow extension that connects directly to Bird Dog Cloud. Um, so in here, we're using uh, NDI Studio uh, or screen capture to capture the whole timeline view of the program. We're using the Adobe Premiere NDI output, which is grabbing the uh, program output of the edit session that's currently playing. Um, and on the left, as an editor, I have the ability for my client, the agency, or the, the production team to either see that full screen source. I could also pop on over to um, just do a full screen of the edit happening in real time. I could go back to a mixed source of between the program feed as well as the premiere timeline. Um, and additionally, usually these editors have webcams. So what you can do there is that if that's an NDI source, you can pull in the editor's webcam. So right now that's shooting at you know my background below uh, and a couple of little bird dog stuff. Um, but just being able to pull in the editor's webcam, the uh, timeline and the program, um, super, super, super easy for edit, review, and approval. Um, Additionally, let's see if this pops up over here, but let me go down to my sources. Let's see. Awesome. So uh, not only does the editor have the ability to choose what source that they want to listen to or watch rather, the producer or the agency or the person using the Cloud Connect application has the ability to select what source they want to go live. So if they want to look just at the webcam of the end user or of the editor, uh, if they want to look at the timeline only, or if they want to pop on over to the Adobe Premiere output, um, they have the ability to do that right from their Apple TV. Um, so we get rid of that conversation of, let me see this. Let me see that. Let me see the timeline. Go back to your webcam. Um, having them to be able to pop on over to this screen and say, hey, you know, that yellow uh, that yellow video is a little bit too long. Let's try to cut that in half and scoot it over. 
Yeah. Okay. And so for some preference for folks who don't necessarily like live in this realm, and this took a while for me to wrap, wrap my brain around, um, what happens is producers of shows, live television in particular, will be splicing things together in real time to show like instant replay and to show yeah. like various highlight reels. Like when things happen on the screen, like let's just take American football, for example, things happen on the screen and the player makes a like makes a touchdown and then they like talk for a few seconds and then they go to commercial and they show the player in slow-mo like making the touchdown that's all happening like this and what's hap what they're really doing is they're calling i mean there's various programs that'll do it but they're um they're recalling those clips and the producer who now it's all remotely done by the way and not all done in like a big truck traditionally and so what the producer is sitting at his home and he's calling and he say okay we're going to do that slow mo of that shot one of the guys that has that shot will have it pulled up and ready to go with the edits and the lower thirds and the logos and all that and they'll they'll hit play and they'll cut to that scene while the producer is calling that and then they're showing the output and they're they're doing this all in real time basically but this gives them the ability to monitor what's happening to call up certain shots and get things ready to go all in real time the producer can see the guy's screen like what Jake is showing right here he can see the actual timeline happening over you know, Apple TV and he just has to click over and see the screen. Okay, let's go ahead and get, get ready to run that. That clip's too long. That clip's too short. All of those sorts of things. Uh, and it's all happening like in, in real time. Well, now what we're saying is we now have a plugin for Adobe, which can now bring all of those sources and all of those views and everything right over directly to a very commonly used piece of equipment that puts everybody in the same virtual room in real time for live production. And so this is a huge elevation into a different stratosphere in terms of production because it allows all of these sources to be seen and used and monitored. And what would traditionally happen inside a big production truck where you'd have two or three guys sitting at actual physical computers that you've flown in and they stayed at the hotel last night and you fed them three meals and now they're there doing it. Well, now they're doing all this from their house. Yep. And it's all happening over the internet and you don't have to pay them for hotels and you don't have to fly them in and you don't have to get the rental cars and you don't have to feed them. They're doing it from their house at game day, at game time. They just need to have a connection to the internet that's usually provided by the network. So that's what we're that's what we're talking about here is these workflows, these highly complex workflows are now overly simplified and all of those sources are now available with Bird.Cloud. So that's that's really super exciting and that's basically the, the use case for a lot of this. I mean, that's that's one use case.